Hello and welcome to the John Art Show. Today's episode is called Protect Your Business from the Mafia. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new show. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. How can you protect your business from being stolen by the mafia? When the economy is deteriorating as quickly as it is now, then this can be a very serious problem. Why is that? Because the larger and more successful your business becomes, the more attention it attracts from the wrong people. But contrary to what most people think, the mob doesn't send guys to your door, to your business, uh, and, who, and, and these people want to start uh, demanding uh, or extorting money from you or extorting other things. In fact, that's not how it happens at all. It usually happens in just the opposite way. Most of the time, business people approach the mob first when they're in financial trouble. They'll ask the mob for a loan. That's how it works. Once you borrow money from the mob to help your business, that's when things get really problematic. Because once you owe them money, your problems usually get worse. And unlike most other loans, you cannot discharge a mob loan in bankruptcy. It doesn't work that way. Why? Because before the mob will loan you money, they'll need to know everything about you. Where you live, where you work, who your family members are, and where they live and work. That's the information they'll need to gather about you before they give you a loan. So what happens if you don't pay it? If you don't repay it? Well, the mob usually doesn't kill its debtors. What they will do is go after you and your family and your assets. Uh, they will start taking things from your family. They'll start seizing your assets and your property. Now, they won't kill you, but they may beat you or they may beat some of your relatives up badly. So what can business owners do to protect their businesses or themselves? Well, the number one uh, option is stay away from organized crime and loan sharks. Don't ask them for money. Don't ever borrow anything from them. You're better off losing everything and going bankrupt than you are borrowing money from organized crime, especially if you're a restaurant owner. Restaurants have a terrible reputation for going bankrupt constantly, repeatedly. They'll, 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 they'll bust, they'll change their names, open up again, then they'll go bust again. And now with the recent lockdown, restaurants have been failing every day. Just drive through most areas and you'll see quite a few empty buildings, which used to be restaurants, but now they're just empty buildings. I suspect some of them took out huge loans before they went bust. It's like a last minute gesture to try and save the business. And if they did that, then hopefully they were legitimate loans uh, from banks or private lenders and not loans from the wrong people because those people will break your arms and their legs, they'll, they'll burn your house down. Remember, it's better to go broke with your arms and legs intact than it is to go broke and still get your arms broken. What about borrowing money from the mob and then refusing to pay and going to the police and asking them to protect you from the bad guys? I don't recommend that. Why is that? Because people are getting killed or attacked every day on the streets now and there's little the police can do about it. If you get into deep debt, then try all the legitimate banks and lenders and institutions before you go anywhere else. See if any of them will help you. If not, then hire a bankruptcy attorney and talk to them. We don't give financial advice, but we will give you uh, the advice of people who have gone to the mob for money. And almost without exception, all of them wish they hadn't done it. So no matter how bad things get, and they may get bad, you know, it's better to be homeless than to put your family in a position where somebody may come after them. You're better off sleeping on the sidewalk, being homeless, going to a soup kitchen, whatever. Don't do anything that would ever hurt your family. Remember that. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and uh, follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall see you soon. Goodbye.